Should I loan money to salespeople that I work with or that I know that are struggling? I'm Scott Sylvan Bell. It's November 28, 2017. 7.47 in the morning, perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about a form of sales sabotage. And I get this occasionally where someone will say, hey, my buddy's in sales and he or she's really struggling and they wanna borrow some money, what do I do? Well, you know, if you're a charity, that's cool because chances are good, you're not ever gonna see your money again. So here's my advice, my sales advice for you. Get something in collateral that's worth more than what they wanna borrow. And you know, I was on the forums, I don't know, a month ago, and this lady's like, hey, you know, hypothetically speaking, which means that's her, hypothetically speaking, uh, you know, what would happen if I borrowed somebody, let, let somebody borrow $5,000 and they don't wanna pay me back, now what do I do, right? Well, first off, if I was gonna lo loan somebody $5,000 and I really didn't know them very well, and I, or I really did know them very well, I'd be like, I need some collateral. I need a title for a vehicle, right? I need something that's worth $10,000 because I want my money back. So there are times where salespeople struggle and you know, it's like a wave, got the ocean right behind me, in which today waves are supposed to be from 12 to 15 feet. I'm coming back out here. I'm gonna go to Sunset Beach. They got the triple crown of surfing going on. I'm gonna go check that out. But you know, you got the waves in the ocean. And you know, sales has its ups and downs. And there are some times where things just don't work out and somebody needs to float some money for a while. Well, my question is why are they not going to a lending institution? Because that kind of scares me, right? Why do they not have money set aside? That kind of scares me. You know, the whys are all like there. So I'm gonna ask some really good questions. Somebody comes to me and says, Scott, can I borrow five grand? My first question is why don't you have it? Well, I, uh, I spend it all. Well, why can't you go to a bank? I'm all tapped out. Well, this is like, these are some warning signs to me. These are things that are starting to freak me out because chances are good I'm not gonna get paid back unless I have some collateral, okay? So whether you decide to loan another salesperson money or not is entirely up to you, but you know, there's a reason why they're asking you and the chances that the reasons of you asking you are not good, <laughs> it's like a crazy objection the buyer's gonna give you. You gotta figure out what it is. You gotta know if, if, you're, gonna, if you're gonna loan somebody money for the most part, you are never ever gonna see it again, right? It's, it's charity, right? You might as well be like a, 501c3, a charity organization, so you could write it off at the end of the year from the IRS. So I would say be careful with it. It's not anything that I would uh, stick to or want to look at doing consistently. You know, my dad called me, absolutely. My brother or sister called me, absolutely. Some random person that I work with, probably not. So should you loan money to salespeople who are struggling? Eh, <laughs> that's a tough one. It's a personal decision, but just know, 99% of the time you loan another salesperson money, they're either gonna quit, they're gonna move on, or you're never gonna see them again, and your money's gonna go bye-bye, all right? Now, if you could do a small favor for me, in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that would be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there is a subscribe button, it's starting to rain. You can subscribe, and then you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, why not even LinkedIn, Scott Sullivan Bell. We'll see you soon, thanks for watching, aloha.